Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's week nine of the London Marathon 2020 training updates. And let me start off by saying Happy New Year. It's now 2020 as I record this, but week nine started off in the last day of 2019. On the plan as usual was 5K, but because it was the last day of the year and I wanted to round off that month with 200Ks, I had eight and a half K to do, so I did that. So that was a nice comfortable run, eight and a half K, temperature wasn't too bad, um, and it was supposed to be comfortable anyway, so I was slightly faster than I should have been, but slower than normal at a pace of six minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer. And then New Year's Day was then supposed to be 8K, but of course, Park One has the New Year's double. So I did both. So we started off at nine o'clock at Luton Wardown Park Run, and that was done in a respectable time of 29 minutes and 47 seconds, just under 5K. And that was at six minutes and one second per kilometer. And then as soon as you've done that, quick chat, no coffee. We all had to jump in our cars, car share if necessary, and drive up to Houghton or whichever second one you're doing. So nice of Park Run and the volunteers to be able to do two in one day. So normally Luton starts at nine and the closest ones to us to do the second one, which is at 10.30, is either St Albans or Houghton Regis or Houghton Hall Park Run. So I had done St Albans Park Run for Christmas Day. So I decided to do Houghton Regis this time. I don't really like the Houghton Regis course. Love all the people and it's nice and flat, but it's too bendy. There's too many turns, quick turns. And also if you're not right at the front at the beginning, it's you were very backed up for a long while, which was the case for me. So even though it was my second run of the morning, I felt much more prepared. I was warmed up. Um, the first kilometre was seven minutes and 42 seconds because it was so backed up. And you're basically walking that first bit before you go through. And so the rest of the Ks were under six minutes. So 5.59, 5.58, 5.52, 5.24. So overall I was 30 minutes and 57 seconds. But if you take off that 1.42, just to make it to six minutes, that would bring me down to like 29.40. So slightly faster if you accommodate for that first slow kilometer than I was in the first one of the day. So you could, I could really feel like I was running much better, more comfortable. I was definitely warmed up. So I actually enjoyed it. I could say, even though I said I don't really like that course. <laughs> but hey, so that was day two for week nine, park run double on New Year's Day. And then day three was on the 3rd of January and that was for 8K and I did do an 8K and that was run in the afternoon. I've been so lazy because I'm. it's my last, well, week nine was my second to last week off. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. And so it's my last week, but these last couple of weeks have just been so lazy, getting up really late, not going out for my run, even though I have the whole day to do it. I went out at half three on this day, and you know, it gets dark around 4.30. So I was like, hey, I have to get in. <laughs> I have to leave the house before half three so I can get home before it's dark. So it was sort of starting to get dark as I came back. It definitely wasn't as fast as it could have been or it should have been, I should say. It was 54.33 in a pace of 6.47, at just over eight kilometers. And I think the reason is I've just now finally returned to my ketogenic lifestyle. And so the carbs are starting to leave my body and I was starting to feel the effects of that. So slowing down a little bit, but also running on my own doesn't help either. And then the last run of the week, after doing another park run, so I basically did six park runs in 17 days, it was the best time. <laughs> That's how you get your park run numbers up, do six. So I was back at Luton, so that was fine. Um, I was definitely slower than normal. I think I was at 31.15. So that shows you that keto is, or the fat adaptation stage is getting back. But I felt the slowness and the lethargicness of the fat adaptation symptoms, but I'm not feeling ill or having headaches. And I think that's because I am taking my vitamins. So I take vitamin A and D 
magnesium with potassium and this one new one I got a B12 complex or B complex so I think it's helping out and then so the last run where I really felt the effects I had to do 10 miles and I joined my fellow striders um, let me see here so somebody arranged to do a slow seven and a half mile or 11 minute mile pace I don't really know what that is in kilometers and that's why I use but I thought I needed to do 10 miles so I could run there from my house which is two miles to the meeting point run with them for seven and a half and then run back which I thought I'd run the whole way back but really it's only half a mile after that but um, yeah, I really felt the effects of my system is just turning. I felt really slow. Any any slight incline I could not do. <laughs> it was an effort. And I think I was fine the first, say, six miles. And then on the turnaround, that's when I felt the effects. So we had to do, uh, one of the other ladies um, is just coming back from operation and stuff so she's running slow with me so thank you um, but we were doing post to post so we'd run one electric post or pylon to another and then the next pylon we'd walk and then the next pylon we'd run to so we did that uh, um, quite a bit especially with going up the hills sections <laughs> but in the end my 10 miles um, was 156.07 so a good 13 minutes longer than normal um, but I think in the grand scheme of things that's fine I was expecting that I said to myself these first two weeks of the new year I shouldn't worry about pacing because of going back on my diet and I know how it affects me at the beginning so I'm just going to stick to doing the distances and then don't worry about the pace for now and then when I'm back on form I'll get back to doing the paces so sticking to that so far so good I haven't had any real issue with getting to that length even doing that 10 mile rather than running home we all went for a coffee afterwards so I made them wait for me running around the car park <laughs> to round that off to the 16 just so I can get the 16k or 10 mile distance in so I know that I completed all that in one go so I'm happy with that so Going forward, just got to keep at this uh, marathon training. Nothing exciting, obviously, from it's just me sitting here today. Yeah, just a short and sweet one this week. Next week's plan, hopefully I'll be going into the fat adaption stage strong. So I'll be running on ketones. My energy will be back, I'm hoping. And then I can get back to my pacing. I have one deviation from the plan which is on Sunday I have uh, the last cross country of our league and that's at Dunstable Downs and normally it's about eight to nine kilometers so I will need to do the additional because it's another 10 miles on the plan so I'll need to do the additional later on but cross country always takes it out of me so it may be that I don't do it on the day and do it on the Monday instead so that's probably likely hopefully next week i'll be on form thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week for week 10 update and again once again happy new year all the best for 2020 speak to you next week take care bye bye